has been done if not all of it has been done um, it's looking like a house now we're still waiting for the um, carpets and flooring is coming in this week um, we've got a tenant ready to move in so as soon as the, all the flooring and handyman stuff and everything has been done then the tenant can move in and um, so we're trying to get it through um, so yeah I mean come and have a look round this will probably be the last update we do until the final video so uh, yeah, the next time you see it, it'll be totally finished. So as you can see here, the breakfast bar is in, the wallpaper is on, um, the lights, the decorative lighting is on. Um, these were actually um, a project that we did, uh, the last, pro sorry, not the last project, but one of the last projects that we've done. Um, we couldn't decide between these lights and another type of lights. And um, we put it to Instagram, and Instagram just slightly preferred the other ones. It was pretty much 50-50, but... Yeah, a bit like Brexit, it was slightly one way than the other. So I kept hold of these because I knew we were going to do another one and I really, really liked them. And I'm so pleased that I did keep them because I think they look really good. And we're going to put in them, we're going to have those bulbs with the filament um, bit to make it look even, even more funky, really. Um, so yeah, it's looking really good, I'm really pleased. Um, I like the colour scheme. So this is a really slight different colour to the one we did before, just because the one we did before thought just needed a bit of tweaking really but no I'm really pleased with this colour and yeah it's just basically showing you the bedrooms and there's not really much to show here oh I've gone for a smaller door didn't even notice well we've got double glass because the last one we did we had a panel here just because the other house was sort of slightly raised on a hill so everyone's top windows we're going to see in so we had to do but i didn't really like it so this time i made sure we went for double glass and i just think it looks much nicer obviously we've got all the i mean i think these have been on for a while but we've got all them on the um handles these are actually the handles that we're going to put in our in our house we've already bought them because <laughs> we really like them love them they just feel good <laughs> it sounds silly but yeah, yeah. so you around the rest of the place really. So we've got the bathroom, um, that mirror, there's a shaver socket there so they need to move that across. Yeah, this is obviously where all the boiler and everything, water tank on and a whole load of stuff at the moment. Yep. Um, so this is going to be the wardrobe for this bedroom this is going to be a, a rail that goes across here this is one, one of the bedrooms so they've moved uh, so in this property I don't know if you remember from quite a while back these plug points were all the way up here uh, because the client had come in and asked them to be put up here. I think he didn't quite realise that putting them so high was going to cause a problem because he wanted to hang the um, TVs on the walls, but because they're plasterboard, they would never have been able to go on there. Um, so the electricians moved them back down to the place where all the other ones are, and that's the same in the other, in the other room. Um, yeah. Should go upstairs? Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is just the the smallest upstairs bedroom but with it's obviously ensuite shower room. This is one of the bigger bedrooms. It's just a good size. Why don't? <laughs> That's <first> tenant. <laughs> I actually don't, I just saw that. So you're getting ready for the door closers. Go on. Yeah, so they haven't put the door closers on just because obviously with the flooring coming in uh, and the carpet, the doors might have to come off and be shaved. So they haven't put the door closers on just so in case that happens. Um, 
So yeah, this is the on off suite shower for the bedroom you just seen. New little mirrors here. These are like magnifying mirrors. So yeah. Quite weird. A little switch here. But you've got little shaver points here. It's pretty cool. And then that's going to be the toilet. So they can't fit the toilets or the pedestal basin that's in there at the moment until the LVT flooring has gone on. Because the LVT flooring you can't really cut around so you have to put things on top. Uh, so they haven't put that in just yet. So yeah, when the flooring's been done they'll come back in and just do your last day's work to put that all in place. And then this is the ensuite bedroom, full ensuite bedroom. Uh, same thing with the toilet, that's not been put on just yet. So yeah, so next time you see it, it should be totally finished and you'll have the nice sliding video and you know, all the marketing stuff basically. So yeah, hope you look forward to that one and we'll see you soon. Yeah, sorry. Um, I do want to, in one of the vlogs, show you guys like the final stages, like the handyman bits, ordering all that sort of stuff, getting on to Ikea, you know, even from, because I feel like this next week is like when the flooring goes down, the furniture company comes in, that's when it is like all go, 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 go to get it finished. But because we're so close to Christmas yet, we haven't even thought about our kids and presents that we need to buy for our families and stuff like that. I don't think it's the right time to show you on this vlog because we kind of need to just get the job done. Um, but uh, we've obviously got loads more projects in the pipeline. So in one of the videos, we will show you sort of like everything you need to think about uh, in that respect. Um, so yeah, just wanted to add that onto the next, uh, this little last bit. Um, but yeah, the next time you see us, this whole place should be finished. So we'll see you then. We'll be finished. <laughs>